LAR TV met Mary Warnoff, the eponymous star of many of Andy Warhol's factory movies in Los Angeles Lodge Gallery, talking about her art. She also wrote an acclaimed book on Warhol's factory titled Swimming Underground. I was uh, going to ask you, um, your paintings, uh, where did you get the training? Did you get some instrumental uh, ideas when you have been in the Andy Warhol? I mean, he tells you things by, uh, you know, uh, pushing in your face something that you take for granted and you realize you shouldn't, like a Brillo box. I mean, he he is an entirely different painter. He he does those portraits and they're not people, they're just makeup. And it's true, it's a comment on our civilization, it sucks. Um, he was brilliant, uh, but I don't paint like that. What was your favorite book which you wrote? What was the title? My favorite? Yes. My favorite is Swimming Underground because it is about Warhol and Warhol was a very, very big influence in my life. And uh, so the homosexuals that surrounded him were very intelligent and very fierce and very angry. And they were just amazing. They amazed me. I mean, I, I couldn't get enough of them. And I believed in their cause. I really did. I mean... I just, you know, come from college where I'd been mauled by a bunch of men and uh, I didn't care for them at all. But these guys loved me. They didn't want to fuck me. It was amazing. It was great. Well, the people in the script, I mean, Billy Name, Andine, uh, Gerard, of course. Uh, I'm Alice. It's like, it's a, it's a takeoff of Alice in Wonderland, only the factory is, you know, the Wonderland. And uh, these, in, in, in Instead of, you know, strange animals, it's strange men because they're gay. They're, you know, for Alice, they're incredible. Uh, um, for everybody else, you know, they're horror. I mean, it was so fucked up. But um, I would also cast, I mean, I would have to cast... Um, I mean, there, there's so many guys that I, I don't even know their real names. But it would be fun to cast them, because I really, I love them. There was this one guy, the, uh, he, was, he, he was thrown out of ballet school, and uh, he, he, of course, was a drug addict. Everybody was a drug addict. Well, I wasn't a drug addict, but most people took drugs, let's put it that way. I mean, Jack Kennedy wasn't a drug addict, but boy, did he take drugs. Um, but anyway, so this guy was thrown out of Juilliard, and so he was older and out of shape and everything, but he would still dance, and it was pathetic because he couldn't do any of the moves. But if you watched him, you would understand the moves he wanted to do, and all of a sudden you would see what's in his mind, and it was fascinating. Yeah. But, on the other hand, I mean, he danced out of a window. He defenestrated. He killed himself. Plus, I did the Theater of the Ridiculous, which was amazing. What would be the artist you would like to have a love of living or dead? Have a love affair? You mean fuck? Yeah. None. There's no artist. No, I don't. That's the last thing I do with an artist is fuck. I mean, they're not. They're not supposed to be with someone else. They're loners. Yeah. And besides, I'm finished fucking. I'm 73. It's like boring. I know that, but <laughs> you know, you just you just have been such essential stars. I look at some of your pictures with. Uh, uh, when you had a long, uh, like a brown long hair, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a, it was like a curl. It was natural. It was. Uh, yeah, yeah. Went to you know, one of the things that really stunned people was the fact that you know you have a drag queen and she imitates a woman and she she comments on woman women she you know and sometimes she's a disaster you know, but for me. That shuts me out. There's no place for me. So what I did is I would act like a man because Like she would pull a cigarette out. I'd light a cigarette. I mean So that fascinated me for a while and then it didn't <laughs> Well, tell, tell me about your dog My dog I would like to know that Hmm. This story, you, you found her on the street? Yes, I chased her for, I don't know, about a week. 
and then finally some other kids were chasing her and she was too tired to run away from me yeah so I I got her and she did not like me she didn't like anybody she was very friendly with my other dog who's now dead it was front of your house so i mean how did you change it for one no no it was blocks away it was because she kept on coming back to one oh, person's she just made a circle, like, yeah like a wanderer yeah for days yeah i mean other people were after her too but um she uh she liked my dog right and that went on for years it went on for maybe five years and then uh my dog died so then she liked me how many dogs did you have in your life one two about five no 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 oh yeah i did a beagle it was the family dog yes Okay, so uh, what, is, what is her name? Blanche. Blanche. Yeah. And is it like a mixed dog or what, you, what kind I of dog? I think she is, is part Jindo because I live in Koreatown. She's part Jindo and part Chow. Good. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. And Mary, what, what do you think about, about people who have a dog? Do you think that they are much more friendly than, than people who are just, that don't have any animals? No. No. You think it's when people I think they're happier the ones yeah, who have animals. Yeah, <laughs>